in uh, 1934, uh, President Franklin Delano Roosevelt took us off the uh, gold standard and they made people turn in their gold coins and it caused a big controversy. Uh, a lot of collectors were upset because they had, uh, you know, rare examples and whatnot and uh, even the common people, you know, were upset about it so they ended up amending it and allowing each person to keep three gold coins that's all you could keep and uh these are three coins that uh they're two and a half dollar gold pieces that my uh, grandmother had in her collection and uh i got uh this is a kind of a rare one 1844 c from charlotte a lot of people don't know that uh Charlotte was a, uh, uh, North Carolina was a, uh, made gold coins. That's all they made at this particular mint. And it closed down in 1861 when the war broke out. And, uh, this is a plain 1853, uh, one, two and a half dollar gold piece. And this is a, uh, 1879 S. But uh, I never knew about the uh, people only being able to keep, you know, three gold coins. Pretty cool. In uh, 1964, you know, the uh, LBJ got us off the uh, silver standard. And uh, so from after 1964, we don't have any silver coins except for the uh, half dollars that were 40% for a few years. But uh, we've had terrible inflation ever since, and the uh, money is not worth like what it used to be. This is the back of the uh, 1844. You can see the cement mark above the two and a half dollar. It's the 1853 plane. And you can see the uh, S mint mark on the uh, 1879 right there. I'm going to do a uh, gold coin uh, depth test with the uh, Bliss Tool V6 with the uh, 7 by 9 inch coil in my yard in uh, high EMI. So uh, I'll talk to you later. I'm going to be using the uh, Blitz Tool V6 with the uh, 7x9 inch coil in this test. So uh, check it out, it should be interesting. I'm going to go ahead and ground balance the uh, Blitz Tool V6 with a uh, 7 by 9 inch coil. It's getting there. Well, that was pretty good right there.
right, I got the uh, hole down to six six inches. So I got this uh, 1844. Uh, the 1844C from Charlotte, two and a half dollar gold piece. So I'm going to put this at uh, six inches and see what happens. Actually, I'm going to put it in a bag first. All right, there it is down the hole. V6 with the 7 by 9 inch coil. Um, I don't have it on turbo. I got it on uh, frequency adjust, four disc, depth discriminator at uh, uh, eight. I got uh, tone at max, three discriminator, and I got the gain on one. settings uh, I got the gain at uh, one and a half uh, I got the disc discriminator at four tone at max uh, I got the frequency at minimum or at maximum and that's about it I got the threshold at Seven. I got the coil about three or four inches off the ground. I'm still getting it. Almost double bumping on that one. That's pretty good. the nail and it's still picking it up. Hey everybody, uh, just giving you a little uh, weather report here. We had started uh, having snow last night. It's kind of like freezing rain right now. I can hear it, but uh, it's kind of crunchy. Well, we only got about an inch, so... Supposed to be getting high winds and 41 degrees. You can see the clouds are really moving. Yeah, it could have been a lot worse. It's crazy having uh, snow in March. 